Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Guys, I'm so happy to be here to talk to you on today. Shout out to my new subscribers. Shout out to my day oneers, all of you who have been here supporting Mommy So True all this time. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And if you're new, of course, take a moment, like the video if it resonates, drop a comment, share your thoughts, and um, subscribe if you have not already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss those weekly videos and live postings about my journey going through narcissistic abuse surviving narcissistic abuse what I've learned how I can help you and just showing you where I'm at mentally spiritually all of that guys I want to talk to you today I want to talk to my thrivers my warriors out there and just tell you that I rock with you I rock with you for being so strong. The narcissist can't stand you, though, because you're so strong. You're, matter of fact, you're too strong. You're too strong. See, if you've dealt with a narcissist, that means they've been very strategic with how they handled you from the beginning. It's been plotted. They're very strategic. They, they love bombed in a strategic way. Love bombing is basically the phase of poisoning, the phase of deception, because a narcissist is a deceiver. The love bombing phase was the moment where they lied, they led you on, they poured a lot of gifts, they gave a lot of money, they gave you the most beautiful compliments, and they filled you up where you felt voids that in your life because when they came in you were vulnerable this might have been the time where you was going through the hardest times the most difficult season of your life and they deceived you making you feel as though you met a partner you've met a friend you met a lover and it wasn't true see the narcissist thinks they're so smart but really they're very stupid because trying to deceive you with all of that love, future faking you with all of the promises that they knew they weren't going to fulfill because they promised that same thing to exes before you still owe their ex-wife those promises. But it was part of the love bombing to lie and set you up with all of this future faking stuff because it's something to look forward to. You needed to hear it. They gave you some type of reassurance that made you think that they were your ride or die. Deception at its finest. But in being so smart and deceiving you, this is how they create a monster out of you. <laughs> that, that crazy monster that you become. To me, it's great. To me, it's beautiful to know that instead of turning out to be like them, you turn up almost like a hulk against narcissists. They inflict you with so much pain that you learn how to become tough, strong, resilient, and become a giant in the midst of other narcissists as you move on with your life. Because it hurts to be deceived in that love bombing situation. That is being poisoned at its finest. They literally poison you with everything to fool you into thinking it's okay to drop your guard down and let them in. And being so stupid, they allow this to happen. You let them in. And then they continue to move you on to the next part of their vicious cycle, which is now it's time to devalue you. It's time to rip you apart. It's time to destroy your self-esteem, kill your confidence. It's time to make you their emotional punching bag. It's time to be their soundboard. It's time to pull you in with all the lies. Set you up. Use you as an object and a pawn in their game. So they can strategically get where they're trying to go in their life. You now become targeted as a weak one. You now become targeted as, you know, a faulty partner. You're the bad parent. You're not good enough. You're unworthy. You're actually the dumb one here. When you were love bombs for all of the things that, you know, was opposite of all of that. You were smart.
They admired the fact that you had degrees. They admired you for being a businessman or a businesswoman. They admired the mother or the father that you were. They gave you compliments, called you the most beautiful woman in the world. They told you you gave them things and you've done things their exes never did. And a narcissist is so fucking dumb. They don't realize that you telling this to a real one, eventually they're going to wake up and realize that you're a liar. Eventually they're going to see that you're devaluing them. Wait a minute. You said this, now you're saying that. Wait a minute. You showed me this person, now you're showing me that person. So that vicious cycle of someone trying to fight for the love that they felt in the beginning with the love bombing phase, it comes to a halt when a real one realizes that this is just a game and they're being played. The monster in you starts to develop. The strength in you starts to come out because you realize they played you, they duped you. You're dealing with a scammer. This is nothing but fraudulent ass activity and it's a manipulation shit. You're in a relationship because they can't seem to get it. They're always lying. They're always cheating. They're always being highly envious, competitive for no reason, jealous to the extreme. Just completely evil behaviors that don't make sense. And as a real one, you sit there and you look at them and you put one and two together. And you realize that something is not right. You realize that you're dealing with someone who is sick as fuck. Like, you tried to pray and it didn't do nothing. You tried to tell them to get help and it didn't do nothing. So, you wake up. The monster in you wakes up. All of the times they've tried to punish you because that's what they enjoy doing. Just think about the discard. The narcissist's favorite punishment. I don't like what you said. You're setting too many boundaries. You're starting to say no a little too much for me. You're asking a little too many questions. You're starting to back me up on the wall and I don't like that. So I'm going to discard you. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go somewhere and remain silent for a few days, a few weeks, because I know it's going to drive you nuts because I know you love me. I know you're going to be thinking about where am I at? What am I doing? Why am I not talking to you? And eventually you'll pick up the phone and call me because you'll be tortured. The discard is torture. It's punishment. They enjoy watching you somewhere dying in your feelings and your emotions because they walked off on you after making you the problem for something they caused. Leaving you to think about those, those final words that they left you to think about. Nobody else is going to love you like me. You think you'll be able to move on? You're 50. You're 60. You're getting too old. Nobody wants you. Nobody's going to love you like I did. Nobody's going to take care of you like I do. Punishment. But that kind of shit does not work when you're dealing with a real one like me and like you watching this video. This is why you've become a monster. You're too damn strong for a narcissist because all of that punishment, all of that pain, all of those lying ways. Setting you up to believe that they're going to do something. I'm going to get help. I'm going to go to therapy. Just give me one more month. Just give me two more days. You're sitting there like, wow, you're really full of shit. You're never going to change. So you become wise. You learn how to manipulate yourself out of the situation. Because you have to. Some of you are dealing with narcs who will not let you go. Will make it hell for you to go. So you must find a way. You must trick them out of their own relationship with you. And then you become the problem you become the enemy you are the monster you're the one who lied matter of fact you always you plotted you plotted it you had some you had a you had another person waiting you already moved on this happens a lot where the narcissist actually finds himself getting discarded and you the real one you already got somebody else you already moved on because they lost you months ago 
You knew months ago the relationship was dead. You knew months ago that this shit was not real. You knew months ago that they were never going to change. And now they hurt. So they can go on to the next apply and say how their ex cheated on them. This is how those ex cheated on them stories happen. Because that ex got away. That ex cut them off. That ex ran for their life. <laughs> the narcissist is out here playing games with their own life. They're teaching people a lot of lessons. Everybody narcissist encounters is not a weak one. It's not a dumb one. A lot of times they run into a real one. Somebody who got discernment, sense, and wisdom. They just got fooled because the narc was a deceiver. So they got pulled into it. But they smelt it. They felt it. And they did shit to, to now make that narcissist regret the day. They pulled that real one, that empath, into their narcissistic world. Because the best thing you can do after dealing with a narcissist is take your power back, walk off, cut them off, act like they don't exist. They're no longer in your radar and move on with your life. Baby, find another person, a better man to treat you right. Trust me, it hurts that narc. They ain't gonna admit it. But they somewhere salty, sobbing, trying to, trying to groom a supply to make up for the fact that you're somewhere happy. <laughs> so much power in, in being a survivor coming out on the other side, coming out on top, knowing how strong you really are against this narcissistic duck because they're playing games with your life. And they encounter people who are not going for that. Once you shake that love shit off, you wake up and you realize, okay, nah, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not laying down and having sex with you like I used to. I'm not giving you money like I used to. I'm not, I'm just not, I'm just not on your side. I'm not on your team. I don't support you like I thought I, I, I would because you don't deserve that. You're a clown. You're evil as fuck. And I see you for who you are. And I am not playing these games with you. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Take drastic measures, dire measures to get away from you. To break this cycle and get away from you. And you, you end up being a monster. You're the worst nightmare. Because you end up tricking them in a way that they didn't even see coming. Believe it or not, a lot of you, it's because of you that narcissists got to go look in that mirror. And face their demons. Will they face them? That's on them. But some of us, we, we did not let up on them. We let them know you're a narcissist. You're demonic. You're evil. My kids can't even stand you. We don't want you around. Get the hell out of here. Get out of my house. Don't come back. You're not welcomed here. To me, this is, this is taking power, looking at demon in the face and letting them know. Get away from me. You are not welcomed in my presence. You're not wanted here. Some of these narcs need to hear that. They need to feel that energy from you. They need to feel that strength from you. Don't feel bad. Cut them off with no remorse and don't feel bad. Walk away. Unapologetically live your life. Thrive and move on beautifully. Because they deceived you. But in deceiving you, they deceived themselves because you were not what they thought you were. And once you shake that pain off and take your life back, you have completely shitted on that narcissist. Because they thought they had you destroyed. Ruined. But that is not the case. Many of you are going through it. You might, you might feel down and out, but trust me. Take your power back. Take your power back and live your best life and move on 
past this fake ass relationship manipulation ship that you're being drug into because the narcissist just enjoys playing games with you they just want to punish you like how their mother or their father once punished them they're making you suffer for the pain they went through so take your power back and protect your life and your peace at all costs be that monster so damn what be that beast show your strength they're afraid of you <laughs> oh man they're afraid of they're afraid of strength they're not ready for the resilience but who cares what they're ready for and what they're afraid of who gives a fuck about what they think not me and if you resonate with that hit that like button <laughs> you're too strong for a narcissist and it is what it is Just think about that. Have a great day. Thrive. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing. Let me know if you need my support or my help in any kind of way. Book those life coaching sessions if they help you. But take your power, keep your power, and thrive forward. Until next time, beautiful people. Stay blessed and stay true.